right, in this video, this is T's Workbook Hints video number six, and we're gonna be talking about rate, time, and distance. The example that we'll work on here will help you with some of the questions in the standard and metric measurement section of the T's Math Workbook. I just released a new update, version 1.4, and it actually includes some examples similar to this one right here. So let's talk about rate times time equals distance. Rate, think of that as speed, time, we got some time, and if you multiply these, you'll get distance. Think about it like this. You hop in your car and you travel at a speed of 50 miles per hour for two hours. 50 miles per hour means you go 50 miles each hour, and if you travel for two hours, well, 50 times two equals a distance of 100 miles. So rate is a speed, 50 miles per hour times two hours gives you a distance of 100 miles. So we can take that and apply it to an example like this, but I also want to throw out a few more shortcuts to where maybe you can just think about this without having to worry about a formula, sometimes. So Sylvia goes for a bike ride each morning. One morning she rode at an average speed of 12 miles per hour for 30 minutes. There's a rate, there's a time, but let's be careful right here in a moment. She took the same route back home, but given she was a little fatigued, she traveled at an average speed of eight miles per hour. How many minutes did Sylvia's entire bike ride take? So the question we want to answer here is, how many minutes did the entire bike ride take? We already know it's gonna be more than 30 minutes because that was the first part of her trip. But we're also missing some information, but we can do a little bit of math to figure it out, which will ultimately help us solve this problem. If she's traveling at an average speed of 12 miles per hour, and she does this for 30 minutes, 30 minutes is half an hour. Notice here we got miles per hour. Here we have 30 minutes. The hours and the minutes, those are two different units of time. But think about it. 12 miles per hour, but she's only traveling for half an hour. That little piece of information right there tells us that Sylvia traveled a distance of six miles because she did not go for an entire 60 minutes, an entire one hour. She went half of that, so 12 miles per hour for half an hour, that's a distance of six miles. So now if the question did say how many miles was the entire bike ride, we would say 12 miles because she took the same route back home. But what we're trying to figure out is how many minutes did Sylvia's entire bike ride take? So since she took the same route back home, she traveled for six miles back home. Now let's take the formula, rate times time equals distance. So rate times time is equal to distance. Well, what do we know about her bike ride back home? Her rate, her speed was eight miles per hour times some time that we're trying to figure out is equal to a distance of six miles. And again, that's because she took the same route back home. But I want you to be careful here. Yes, we can solve for T because we have eight times T is equal to six. Well, we can divide by eight. And this is gonna give us T is equal to six over eight. But six over eight what? Well, let's be careful here. This eight is miles per hour. And the six was six miles. So when we're talking about time here, we actually have time in hours because this eight was actually miles per hour. So we have six eighths of an hour. And let's go ahead and simplify this. That's three fourths of an hour but we wanna figure out how many minutes did Sylvia's entire bike ride take. Well, if you have hours and you're trying to figure out minutes, three-fourths of an hour, one way to think about that is to write it as a fraction over 60. Now, maybe you're thinking a proportion here, which is fantastic, but another way we could quickly do this is notice if we just multiply four times 15, four times 15 is 60, so three times 15, that's gonna be 45. 45 out of 60, that's 45 minutes out of 60 minutes. That is three-fourths of an hour. Now to address the final question here, how many minutes did Sylvia's entire bike ride take? Well, remember at the beginning she traveled for 30 minutes. 
the same route back home, this should make a little bit of sense now because it took her 45 minutes to get back home. It should have taken her longer, which it did, because she was traveling at a slower rate. So the total time here, what we want to make sure we do for the entire bike ride is to add up the 30 minutes plus the 45 minutes, and we will get a total of 75 minutes. Now, if you have a question where it says, leave your answer in hours and minutes, just want to throw this little extra tip out there. 75 minutes is the same thing as 60 minutes plus 15 minutes. And the reason why I'm writing it like that is because 75 minutes is really the same thing as one hour, 15 minutes. But again, since the question did say how many minutes did her entire bike ride take, we will stick with that 75. And there you have it, T's Workbook Hints video number six, dealing with rate, time, and distance. Some things to be mindful of here, uh, units of time, we had hours and minutes, and then when we solved it here, we actually got an answer in terms of hours, because remember, we were talking about eight miles per hour, but ultimately we had to convert that back to minutes as well to answer the question. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.